For the first time since Nashville, we were headed east, finally to a big city, Portland, Oregon. Well, we're back in Oregon, and uh, this time we're in Portland. We figured we haven't seen or explored a lot of bigger cities, so that's what we're gonna do. Well, that's the end of that. After being in remote areas for well over a month, the size of Portland weirded us out. It felt like too much chaos in that moment. These were the beginning stages of something. Further east, to Boise, Idaho. Great city, but you know how good things go. They were the beginning stages of the end. I already explained why before, but government shutdown, late money, we were road wary, hooking, unhooking, sewage dumping. We could poop in the RV, yeah, baby, baby. Poo. Don't let the cats get out, don't let the dog run off, shotgun travel, yada, yada, yada. Point is, we were heading home. The journey home wasn't as eventful as the journey there, but just outside Colorado, we hit another hailstorm. It felt kind of nostalgic in a strange way. Day 48 the final sunrise. Just outside Kansas City, the end of an era. The trip was short, but long. Stressful at times, but amazing always. We'd seen so much. You ready, baby? Yeah. Here we go. Day one. Oh, yeah. Get it. Like that, our journey was over. But was it? Is it? Is this the end of the book, or just the end of a chapter? This was just a taste, a sample. We dipped our toes into the world of adventure, but it couldn't be the end of the book. Because our book started long ago, the shorter trips, shorter adventures, shorter chapters. We were way too damn young for such a short story. But it's not just about the story, or the adventures. It's about the lessons learned along the way. The lesson that sometimes it's the simplest of things that make the best journeys. The dumb corny jokes, the laughs, the people you meet. The fact that things will go wrong, both on an adventure and in regular life. But it's important to go with the flow. Be persistent, but be willing to change paths easily. Enjoy those epic moments when the views take your breath away and almost make you shed a tear. But enjoy those downtimes also. The moments you'll look back on and dream of being in again. And always remember that it's about finding who you are and that it's not just the road that calls, but the sense of adventure and wandering. The road is just a conduit. 
In less than a week of being home, we had already sold the truck and trailer. Knowing that we'd have to get jobs again, restart savings for more journeys, we just couldn't afford to have both of them. So now we sit, nine months later, looking back on it all. On one hand, feeling sad to turn the page, to close this one out. But on the other hand, excited. When damn good and well, it's not over. There's just too much shit to see and do. This book is nowhere near finished. There's still a lot of story to tell. So, stay tuned, because we're not done yet. There will be more. There will be another one. Something new to fall into, and it'll be a better one. There will be another. There will be another one. Someone you will hold on to, and there will be a better one.